So this first knot is basically just a split shot. So it's almost like you're gonna be free lining and you're just putting a little pinch weight onto your leader to make it as light as possible. Because like I said, these sheep's head are a really finicky fish. You wanna make, you wanna be as stealthy as possible whenever you're targeting these guys. So I just use a simple twisty knot. I've been using this knot forever. Never seems to fail me. So pull it tight. Make sure it's tight, like so. If you guys don't know how to tie a twisty knot, it's probably best that you go and search a video, because I don't know how well you can see it in this video, but it's almost the first knot that anybody ever learns to tie. All right, boys and girls, so now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get your leader, which in this case, I'm going to be using 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. All right, boys and girls, so once you get your swivel on, you're gonna take about two and a half feet of leader. Now, I'm gonna keep it kind of short just for this recording, because I don't wanna use up all my leader. It gets expensive. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna tie your hook just like this. So, I mean, if you've ever free lined, it's basically the same setup as a free lining, you're just gonna tie your hook to a leader straight to your braid without any weight right now. So use a simple twisty knot. Make sure it's all tight, like so. Now these are my favorite sheep's head rigs right here. These, I promise you, if you guys use these setups right here, what I'm using, you guys will catch more fish. Now, like I mentioned in the beginning of the recording, I do use Carolina rigs from time to time. Depending on the current, if we have a strong current and I'm fishing deep water, I will use a Carolina rig because the split shot can't get to the bottom. But for most case scenarios, I normally just use a split shot because split shots work wonders for sheep's head. So this is your first rig, your first sheep's head rig right here. So you're just basically, it's basically just like free lining. Now we have the first sheep's head rig, first example, almost ready. So it's basically just like free lining, you know what I mean? So you have your hook with your leader attached to a swivel, attached to your braid. So no weight at this point, but this is whenever it gets interesting. So what I like to do, is I like to buy these split shots. I get the biggest ones that I can get. There's like pieces of them in here too. So I like to get the biggest split shot that I can find in my local tackle shop. <coughs> like so. And I will use these instead of the other weights, the ones that you normally use, the sinkers. And what you do is you just put these suckers on there. Now it can kind of be a pain in the butt to get these things on. Like for some reason, they're really like, they can be really tricky to get on. You gotta like really pinch it like just the right way. Otherwise the line will just keep on slipping out. So you're gonna put your, you're gonna put your pinch weight right there. It doesn't really matter where you put it because you're going to, um, you're gonna be able to slide it anyway if you don't squeeze it too hard. And what I like to do is I like to pull my uh, sinker, or not my sinker, I like to pull my pinch weight all the way up to my swivel and I pull it down just a little bit that way because I've noticed that sometimes if I pull my pinch weight all the way up to the uh, knot, I end up, it ends up getting uh, tangled a little bit. And this can honestly be personal preference. I put the pinch weight kind of near the swivel, but I've also, I've also before put it all the way down at the bottom, like so. And sometimes I've had a lot of luck catching sheep's head like this as well. And it kind of resembles a ball and chain jig or a cannonball jig, which will be the next rig that we use. But for this video purpose only, I'm gonna be showing you guys this portion, which I like to put it right here by the swivel. But you can play around with this, as this is just to get your, uh, your bait to the bottom. 
but you can you can fluctuate with this and kind of use it to your liking um, I don't recommend putting it towards the middle I either recommend putting it towards the swivel like so or like I said I have really good luck sometimes putting it towards the uh, bottom like so so that's the first example now we're gonna get on to my second favorite sheep's head uh, rig which this one works really really well too so let's get to that one all right folks let's go ahead and get to the second sheep's head jig so the second sheep's head jig that i like to use or sheep's head rig i keep calling it a sheep's head jig but these right here are phenomenal now what i don't even know the exact name of these i mean there's there i don't really think there is an exact name people just have the nicknames for them uh people call them ball and chain uh jigs people call them swing jigs people call them cannonball jigs but these work wonders i've actually used these before and these are really really good for uh sheep's head as well and yeah this uh this this cool guy messaged me on facebook and asked me if i wanted some of these and i said yeah of course and sure enough he he sent me a lot of these sheep's head ball and chain jigs I feel like they really help you feel the bites because your 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 bait is like right here next to your weight so you don't have that big difference in your your uh hook and your weight because if you have your swivel right here and your weight right here and then your bait right here there's a big difference in that so you kind of have a delayed bite feel and what this does is this like really just gets your bait close to your weight so you can really feel that bite and it really helps you feel that bite a lot more, um, especially when you're when it comes to sheep's head fishing. So, but yeah, I've actually tore up sheep's head on these rigs right here. These are I'm gonna call them cannonball jigs for now. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, people call them all sorts of different types of thing. But uh, if you type in sheep's head uh, ball and chain jig or sheep's head cannonball jig, uh, you can actually find these online. Or the the dude that sent me these, he actually didn't. Uh, want to you know he didn't really say that I had to mention him in the video but I'm gonna go ahead and mention him anyway because it was really really cool of him to just send me all these uh, ball and chain jigs and for just just to send them to me he didn't even want to shout out or anything and that's cool that's cool I, I really tend to stay away from like promotions where people you know they send you stuff and they send you it only because they want you to put it in the video but since he didn't really ask at all I'm gonna go ahead and shout him out so if you guys want any of these jigs uh, you guys can also reach out to him. Uh, he he made all of these and he sent me a good amount. If you guys want to get in touch with him, I just showed, showed you guys his business card. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing going. So what you do is this right here, the top part, that's where you tie your line. So you're gonna put it through there, like so. And I like to use just a simple twisty knot been using this knot for years and it's never let me down well <laughs> i'll take that back it's let me down a couple of times whenever you get it close to a pylon <laughs> so you're just going to use a simple twisty knot like so and then you're going to put it you're just going to finish it like so you're going to tie it up and there you go just like that then where'd my pliers go? Oh, they're over here. So this is the second sheep's head jig right here that I recommend tying. I recommend the split shot one. And then I also recommend the ball and chain, which is this one. And then also I recommend the Carolina rig. You can't go wrong with the Carolina rig. I've caught plenty of sheep head on the Carolina rig as well. But um, like I said, these two that I just showed you tend to be my favorite. So yeah. I mean, these things are really, really cool too. If you guys ever fish with them, I mean, they are awesome to fish with. And I really like this hook too, because some of them I don't like because the hooks are really stout. And if you're using a big fiddler crab, it's kind of hard to hook the um, the fiddler crabs whenever you have a small, too small of a hook on these. But I like the way that he actually, you know, kind of kind of gave you a bigger hook, but it's a thin hook and it's kind of like curved like this, almost like a J hook. And uh, this really allows you to like hook those crabs really, really well and get a good, uh, a good presentation on the bait. So I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you guys do, make sure to leave a like and uh, let me know if you guys have any other sheep's head rigs that you like to tie. Uh, throw it in the comment section. Let me know. 
But yeah, I have videos of me slaying sheep's head on these two jigs right here, guys. So if y'all want to check them out, I got a ton of sheep's head videos that I just, I go out there to, in the local Pensacola area and slay fish. So it's proof that it works. So we got the cannonball jig and then we also got the, the split shot, split shot rig. So I hope this video helps you guys catch a lot more sheep's head. Like I said, if you guys want to, you guys can reach out to Jerry Yang and, uh, you know, get some of these cannonball jigs from him. Yeah, I'll see you guys next video. I hope I hope this video helps you all catch a lot more sheep's head. You guys send me some pictures on Facebook if y'all catch any. Be sure to uh, check out my Facebook page in the description. Send me some pictures of sheep's head you guys have caught if you guys use these uh, two, two rigs that I showed you. So, hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.